Hey everybody, this is Nightfighter22 here. Hope you guys are all well. I'm just here playing some live 5 minute chess. I'm playing Gio Fonte from Peru. Rated 1233, 1265, so pretty similar ratings we have here. Uh, what, do, what did I ever do against uh, Pawn to D4? I think I did Pawn to D5. Uh, knight here, Knight here, pretty standard stuff, to be honest with you. Um, E6 followed by C5. Let's go here. There we go. Um, pretty interesting structure he's gone for actually. He's blocked in his C and his and his E a bit. It's not the most aggressive um, form, I'd say. It looks like he's playing more from a black perspective, but you know that's perfectly under uh, that's perfectly understandable. Just a, um, intimidating his bishop there a bit. Let's put this one onto D6. That's a nice square. Both get castled on the king side, pretty standard stuff. It looks like this is going to be... Oh, hang on. Is he doing what I think he's doing? If he castles on the queen side, we're going to have a very interesting game, folks. Because, as you know, Mr. Nightfighter22 loves those positions. Oh, look at this. This is what you call a temptation tactic. So, temptation to take the free pawn and then lose the coin. Um, in response to that, the best move is, that's actually a pretty good move, um, the best move is, I think, to play bishop there. And then the advance of the pawn, and the knight goes in. I think. Pretty standard move. Pretty good move. Um, ouch. He's got that open G file, which I'm going to say ouch to. Hmm, this maybe isn't the best. This maybe isn't the best for Mr. Nightfighter22 at the moment, because he's got... This just begs him to move the knight somewhere, like this. Or maybe we got we got chances Oh. Bad move. Bad move. He should have moved the knight up. He should have moved the knight. Ah, oh, he lost. He lost any chances of attack. I thought for a minute there, further back, he had chances of getting this knight up into here, and then just oh, having loads of advantages. But I think he's lost that. That was if he was going to castle on his um queen side. Okay. So. Oh, there we go. Let's go right in there. Let's go right in there by, you know, putting that knight up. And we might have to go for a queen trade. Well, if he does actually take that pawn there, takes, takes, check. I don't think he'll take it. Uh, I don't really want him to take it because then we for, we eventually have a queen trade. I'd like to get that queen out to a5. Uh, let's go. Let's go in here. I think, um, with the queen. There's actually a mate on a1 if he takes that knight, so that's why I left it. Still a risky thing to have. He can't take it with the queen because of the pawn. Oh, that's a good move. It's a pretty good move you made. Uh, yeah, I did actually make quite a good move there. Ma, 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 um, right. He's attacking the rook. Let's do this. And then we'll have to drop that knight back to c6. Maybe we are... It looks like, to be honest with you folks, I'm sorry, but it does look like we are going to have a queen trade at this point. Uh, because this queen here is lined up against this and undefended. We can bring the knight back to c6. That's what I thought was going to happen. Um, check King B one. That's not going to be any use to me. Uh, so unfortunately, Knight C six looks like the best option. Takes takes if he wants to. That's if he wants to. Uh, if it was up to me, you know, I wouldn't. But that's being Mister Knight Five Twenty Two, who doesn't particularly like queen trades. But you know, there you go. Some people do. 
And I think he still has the advantage, which we need to get off him. Uh, although saying that, our position is not bad at all. Slide that in there, nice square for the uh, for the old bishop there. I don't know how long he is going to be able to support that bishop on his uh, b6 square. Okay, we need to get this one out. We need to get this one out into play because this one isn't um isn't it's there's no good use for it. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, except now he's moved that. So let's go ahead and attack this. Double attacking this pawn. And also this rook. Just, sorry, this bishop. Uh, so we have an attack here. And there's not actually an awful lot you can do about that. You can play c3. <sighs> really? That's interesting. Just hop the knight into there. That's going to be a bit of an annoyance for him. If obviously if he tries a move like this, it just takes because the B pawn is no longer there to support it. So that's going to be quite annoying for him. He's just going to double. Bring the bishop into here. It's a bit risky. Oh, let's go for it anyway. Let's go for it anyway. Play for the win. Uh, right. Okay. So everything looks sound for now. Le okay, now that this rook is no longer supporting this bishop, I want to get rid of this bishop. So we can do that by trading off the pawns. Where's that knight going? It's going into f4, into e6, attacking our weak pawn chain. Trade pawns, he has to take that one pretty much. And then bishop to a6 looks strong. Okay, we're down on time. Down on time. Uh, where's that rook gonna go? It's not gonna go. It's not gonna go much, is it? I don't really know where is where it is gonna go. It's, it can go to there. It's probably the best square, and then I take it with my bishop. Because if it goes onto this D file, it just boom. It's just locked. It's just lost with this. So that bishop is pretty. Sorry, that rook on E two is pretty lost, to be honest. Um, okay, let's spend these next few moves not making any mistakes and trying to get some time advantages. Sounds good to me. Okay, took back with the bishop, which is good because there's no attack on my bishop. Uh, um. Oh, we're down on time. I have to move. I have to move quickly. I have to move quickly in these positions, Mr. Nightfighter22. Ah! I knew something like that was going to happen. Oh well. Um. Oh, let's just keep this shrewd. Let's just keep this going. Attacking the knight and the bishop, there's probably a way you can defend it, or is there? I don't know if there is. There might be some forking tactics, but yeah, I'm moving this rook. Okay, 1 minute 2 versus 1 minute 16. If we can sustain the time advantage or obtain the time advantage and then sustain it, I would be happy because at the moment we're still at a slight advantage, I'd say, in the position. I think we have the upper hand, as it were. Let's take that. And then he's going to try and save the bishop. Okay, he's gone this way. That's interesting. He, I think he went a bit into panic mode there and try and say, I'll throw all I've got at you sort of, sort of thing. Uh, right. We're in a bit of trouble with our knight now. Have to take that. Then do that. Takes, takes is actually pretty good. Because remember, this pawn is pinned, which is actually pretty key. Because he can trade if he wants to. Uh, but the best thing to do is to move the king away. And then we have double tack on c2. Oof. Um. Oh, fuck. Uh, no. Right. Okay. Rook d8 check is going to be the next move if he doesn't move his king. Like that. He's blunted out this rook, which was pretty effective, to be honest. And now rook into d2. Sorted. Unless he moves king b1, knight c3 check is all good. Now now rook now rook d3 and be jiggy check. He's going to lose on time, I think. Oh, it's going to be king b2. Right. Okay, king check here. 
fuck on. Let's see if we can get the mate. Fuck it. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Uh. Right. Okay, we don't want to lose on time now. This this game has come down to time. Let's just be honest. But I want to win on the mate because it's better to win on mate. It always is better to win on mate because it actually shows your skill rather than your time efficiency. Come on. Ah, oh, we didn't have enough time to win on mate. Oh well, uh, we could have done, given another 10 seconds or so. Uh, but that was a pretty good game. He offered us a rematch. Uh, I'm not going to accept that right now. I'll say thanks to the game. Uh, but, you know, being being a video, I want to keep it down to one video. Thanks for the game. Let's just have a very quick look over that game. As some people have been asking me for analogies. So we started off, this is a weird move on move 3. To move the bishop down like this. E6. Pretty standard stuff. To be honest, I didn't want doubled up pawns here, so I just played e6 anyway, which then gave me the support on playing c5 on the next move. Here, where I was expecting c4, to be honest, at which point I would probably applied with c6 and we transposed into a semi slav position. But he played knight c3, which just allows me to lunge with c5. And I think after we play all these next kind of moves, it looks like more like I'm playing white, purely because of the pawn structure in the center. Um, even though I've got two minor pieces developed, the pawn structure in the center indicates I have a more aggressive response. Uh, so bishop d6. Now, here's an interesting position. Pawn down to g4 because I think he starts to get an advantage in this position. Because obviously if I take, I lose the queen. So I'm thinking, oops, because the next move is going to be pawn to g5. And then he's going to take on h6. And then I'm going to have this weakened king. He can get the rook onto g1 and give me some nasty checks. He can play e4, get the queen into g5, and there's going to be some sort of mate. So I think on g4, I had the he had the advantage. Bishop to e7, I wanted to solidify this diagonal because the action is going to be on the dark squares with this bishop and queen coming in. And then g5, and I thought, oops. So I moved the knight away and get this bishop action. Knight takes e4, pawn takes e4, and I thought, knight into e5, wham. And... Um, it's going to be a pretty devastating position. Uh, and even 94 wham takes and takes. I'd want to trade queens in this position. Maybe that's why he didn't do it. You know, I don't mind an uncastle king if the, tra if the queens are traded off. But knight g1. Bit odd. A little bit odd. I suppose that's the only other square he could go to apart from uh, down to e5. So bishop takes. And then bishop back. And even though that bishop is on a good square, he's blocked in the G file. He's not taken advantage of that pawn he had. And then I could just go play F5. And now black has the advantage in this position, regardless of where white castles. So castles queenside, not into B4. I didn't play this the best, actually. I could have played this attack more effectively. Because the main thing was, I didn't want a queen trade. That was my, that was my goal. A3, because now I have the advantage. I don't really want a queen trade, but... Players these days, they often accept queen trades. A5, obviously, takes, there's a mate on A1. Bishop bishop into D6 was a good move, uh, taking advantage of that bishop, which you didn't see. Although, rook to D8 aligns the rook with the queen, so he's a little bit more screwed than he was now. D takes on C5. I had to move the knight back to C6 because now the um, I have to get that back. Right, queen takes a5, and here comes the trade. So, it's... I think now I lost my advantage, and it's gone back to equal. I mean, I still have some chances with the pawn structure, but I think it's more back to an equal position now. h4, bishop f6, bishop h5, not into c4. b3, not into b2, I think he missed that move. And that knight into b2, actually, plays a critical role in the position. Um, and I think I start to see an advantage again after I get some of my minor pieces close to his king. Knight h3 takes... Oop. That's my internet going. Is it going to come back? Oh, come on. We want to do this analysis. Oh. Oh, well, it looks like my internet's um, disconnected for the night, guys. It often does that. Uh, so I apologise about that. If you guys want to check out my game ar archives, they'll be on there in Night Fighter 22. 
if you're a non-member they'll be on there for four weeks obviously if you take advantage of the chess.com membership they'll be on there for a long time but I'm gonna have to end the video there because um, my internet's disconnected and that won't come on again for another 10 minutes anyway thanks for watching the video guys and I'll see you next time goodbye everyone